This video, the fourth in the series, commences at the Tower of London and finishes at the Bank of England. There's a link to a map of the route below. A little way along the river from the Tower of London, just the other side of the approach road to Tower Bridge, the peaceful environments of St Catherine's Stocks are popular with those seeking somewhere to relax. Back past the tower, close to Tower Hill Underground Station, there are still a few remnants of the ancient city wall, first built by the Romans. Then over at Trinity Gardens, it's possible to visit the exact spot on Tower Hill, where public executions once took place. Leave along Savage Gardens, past the Port of London Authority Building, features in the James Bond movie Skyfall, and with a high-rise statue of Old Father Thames, before turning left into Peep Street to St Olive's Church, where Pepys is buried. Following the back streets, at the top of Seething Lane go left, then right into Mark Lane, and before St Olive's Parish Hall, cut left through Dunster Court, right into Mincing Lane, and left along Fenchurch Street to the Walkie Talkie, former winner of the Carbuncle Cup. To experience the view from the top, it's best to book in advance. Expect airport-like security. Opposite the walkie, go along Lime Street towards the Lloyds Building, taking time to detour into Leadenhall Market, designed by Horace Jones, who was also the architect of Tower Bridge. Past the Lloyds Building, with its ducts and lifts situated on the outside, St Andrew's Undershaft, built in 1532, is on the corner of St Mary Axe, home to the now famous Gherkin, situated a few metres beyond. Turn left along Leadenhall Street between the Lloyds Building and the Leadenhall Building, colloquially known as the Cheese Grater, towards Corn Hill, where a Sainsbury's local store sells ready-to-eat meals. Opposite the Church of St Peter upon Corn Hill has a small garden with seats and what could loosely be described as a picnic lawn, enter via St Peter's Alley. Similarly, a little further along, Enter St Michael's Cornhill Church Gardens along St Michael's Alley, which also happens to lead to the Georgian Vulture, a drinking establishment once patronised by Charles Dickens and mentioned numerous times in the Pickwick Papers. Next along Cornhill enter Bull Court, where London's oldest restaurant, Simpson's Tavern, is well signposted. Eat at ancient underwriting tables long since removed from Lloyd's, on seats which to this day incorporate hat stands specifically designed to accommodate bowlers and toppers. Across Corn Hill, the Royal Exchange, opened by Queen Elizabeth I and then after having burned down a couple of times by Queen Victoria, is now a very pleasant covered courtyard bordered with luxury shops. Just the other side of the Threadneedle Street, easy access to the Fort Light Bank of England is restricted to the museum where visitors are invited to hold a gold bar. Attempts to remove it from the premises are discouraged. Beyond the entrances to Bank Station, the column-fronted Mansion House, the official residence of the Lord Mayor of London, hides St Stephen Walbrook Church, the dome of which was designed by St Christopher Wren as a tester prior to his masterpiece at St Paul's Cathedral. This is also the church from where Chad Vara set up the Samaritans, an organisation which continues to help those with emotional difficulties, saving many lives in the process. The next stage of this walking tour of London leaves the Bank of England, passing the Guildhall, Barbican, Old Bailey, Lincoln's Inn and Covent Garden, before finishing at Leicester Square. Click the link to view the video.